Okay, so now I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions about the Breville Custom Loaf Bread Maker that people want to know. Uh, let's see. So I got this in July, uh, end of July last year. I've been using it for a whole year. I've easily made 20 loaves of bread uh, of various different types and styles. One thing I haven't tried yet is gluten-free bread, which is something I'm finding a little bit more difficult to uh, to find the ingredients for at a local uh, shop. So maybe I should uh, look around a little bit harder to go ahead and try that out because I'm kind of curious about that as well. There's a lot of questions actually. So uh, does it use water to create a nice crust? Uh, yeah, actually most of the um, most of the menu items uh, require from the book anyways uh, does require water. Uh, as far as making an artisan crusted bread, I haven't done that directly just with the uh the bread machine itself although it does a great job with the uh, french bread which is obviously what i was just making here um can you open a lid while it is operating and check consistency if more liquid is needed uh so the manufacturer actually says it can be open during operation is not recommended and maybe that's for liability reasons uh there is a button on the panel that controls the light on so you so you know i show in a sample if you want to see what's going on you can actually just press the light button that is a fairly unique feature that i haven't seen in the other bread makers um it's kind of special nice to have for anybody but you know what when i've actually opened it up um during the various different cycles uh Never had any problem. I don't think it, it negatively affected the bread in any major way. However, I don't open it up when it's doing the baking process because you want to maintain that consistent heat. Are there yeast-free recipes as well? Yeah, there are actually yeast-free recipes um, in the cookbook. And it's true. I have seen some of those. And I think I've done a couple of those. I've also bought a bunch of the bread mixes that are available uh, at my local Walmart, or actually I order some online too by Crusto, and they work out just fine. Uh, my wife likes the cornbread the most and from the Crusto, and that's just really simple. I just put the ingredients in there. There's a yeast-free button that I can press, but actually I, I choose to manually override um, some of those recommended settings in the uh, in, in, in the in the instructions on the back of Crusto because this is not a traditional oven. It is, and, and it has different uh, levels of baking temperatures, which is very different from the oven. So I mess around with that a little bit uh, if you guys are interested in knowing a little bit more about that, um, feel free to let me let me know and I'll maybe share some of my uh, secrets of testing. But it's really not that hard. And it's really not that um, expensive to go and try those out because each of those bread mix is like 2 or $3 at most, $4. Uh, so you can play around with that. Um, let's see, directional booklet was misplaced. You can download another one. It's true. There's a nice link where you can download it. So if you want to see ahead of time what... Uh, you know what the instruction manuals are what you can expect what kind of recipes that they recommend and tried in the booklet you can actually just download it directly uh, let's see i'm planning on making whole bread mainly all the recipes require milk powder is it a must-have or can i leave it out hmm well i've always used the milk powder uh, i'm sure you can leave it out but you know the results are gonna taste a little bit different so yeah, you can, you can, I actually, you know, for whole wheat bread, I don't even remember if it uses, uses that much uh, milk powder, but yeah, feel free to leave it out. It's going to taste a little bit different though. Can you remove the paddles before it begins the bake cycle? Yes, you can. And actually you can, you can adjust it. Um, you can adjust the different settings, but there's an answer here, uh, that, that N Ragavan answer is like, uh, yes, you set it to the dough cycle and end, uh, remove the dough and the paddle, then put the dough back for the final rise and then bake on a bake cycle. The collapsible paddle does not work with some of the stickier, stiffer doors. Doors? Oh, doughs I am playing with. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it, it doesn't bug me too much, um, but it is a telltale sign. If you can see on the customer images, you can see, well, I'll show you later on in the video exactly what the hole looks like at the, at the bottom. Let's see. Uh, my machine is new. Why can't I get my collapsible paddle free of the drive shaft? Is it inserted correctly? Oh, most likely you got dough and stuff crusted around uh, the paddle. So as suggested over here, um, soak it in some warm water. Uh, so you just, just put some warm water in there, warm hot water in there. That'll loosen it up and then you can pull it out. So you want to completely clean out the paddle as much as you can before you're doing any new baking. Uh, 
Yeah, that, that's a good question. I also think that uh, if you don't have too much finger strength or you're afraid of breaking anything, don't worry, it's, it's made pretty well. Um, you, you just got to try a little bit harder to remove it, but definitely get it wet before you do it. Uh, it's, the, it's the dough. Let's see, I just unboxed this product ready to bake. My collapsible paddle, cla okay, is this supposed to lock in upright position? Um, yeah, it actually doesn't lock. It, it just, because of the rotation um, of the, it rotates that one direction, it, uh, it, it just does the right thing. So um, it's kind of like a one way, so it's not gonna collapse both ways. So it'll rotate in the direction it needs, rotate it back um, when, when you're doing a different cycle and rotate it back, it just works. So don't worry about it. Uh, let's see, and make sure you clean it well. Um, someone else recommended that you go and put a little bit of olive oil on there. Uh, that's also uh, not a bad idea so that you make sure that that rotates freely. Basically clean it out, man. You really got to clean it out. Can this make a uh, pizza dough? Yep, there is. Um, I see that. I have not done it, but there is. How many watts does it use? 830 watts while it's in operation for potentially up to three hours. That's fine. Does the delay timer or the dough setting on a machine? Yes, you can use the delay uh, function a few times for bread dough, no issues. Um, let's see, I tend to use the delay function all the time as it allows the ingredients to get to ambient temperature. Yeah, you know, this is, this is called a custom loaf machine uh, for a very specific reason. You can customize every single step of the process fairly easily. I love the control panel, really easy to use. Um, it is, um, they, they really spent a good amount of time with the UI, and uh, I, I, they did a really great job. I, I think that's that's one of the benefits of paying a lot more for something like this. Let's see. Can you make gluten free and yeast free? Uh, the recipes included in the instruction book are designed to be one or the other. Okay, well, um, that's what Breville says. They don't offer both of those. Uh, that's gonna that that is definitely gonna take some experimenting. I am not a big baker. I like the breads that I've made with it so far. I've tried a couple of different recipes. Um, Gluten-free and yeast-free, I have not uh, not exactly tried, at, at least from scratch. Uh, does it make meatloaf? Uh, claims that there is one. I haven't made meatloaf in here. How fast does it do rapid uh, bread? Um, it really depends on, on, yeah, exactly. It really depends on the size of the loaf. Uh, you're looking about two hours and 20 minutes for the rapid rise or about two hours. So expect that if you want some bread um, done through the bread maker, you got to you got to have all this stuff started two hours ahead of time. Um, is this a horizontal loaf? Yes, it is. If you have power outage, will it start where it left off or will it start again? Yes, it is able to. Um, it actually is able. You know what? I haven't had a really long power outage but someone claims that uh, it is able to i had had a short one and i thought that yeah a short one meaning just a couple of seconds maybe it was a brownout or a little short bit of a blackout during the rains that we had here in california and it did continue to make the bread so maybe it was short enough uh does it have a setting for sourdough yeah i do believe it does yeah there is definitely a sourdough um thing that you have in there but i haven't done any that's something that I also want to do. And actually, I was going to let my brother go ahead and do that since he likes to cook a lot more than I do, including baking. Delay setting for dough. Yeah, you have delay setting for everything. Can you cancel the very annoying uh, fruit nuts dispenser signal when you would be using it every time? Okay, so uh, you may have heard a beep when I was answering a bunch of these questions uh, earlier, and that is the bread maker letting you know that it's going to a different uh, section of it. I do believe that there is a setting to turn turn down the volume of it or turn it off completely. Uh, however, I've never done it. Um, I'm not by the kitchen when it happens, but if you don't know what that is and you hear the sound and the beeping and you wonder what the heck that is, uh, it, it is fairly loud um, in the default setting. Does this machine have a top heating element for a nice crust? No, it does not. Um, it only has a lower element. I think that's one of the things where the Zoji uh, Rushi Virtuoso machine, which costs more, by the way, um, does better. So potentially, a along with it having two paddles, the most the more expensive machine could potentially make a nicer loaf of bread. However, uh, I went with the Breville, as you can tell. Is the interior pan stainless? It's non-stick. Uh, I owned this unit for a couple months until it malfunctioned and fell shattered. I called for help many times. Don't return my call. Hmm. Call the customer service line. I'm really surprised because Breville 
I mean, you buy Bravo for a number of reasons. One of them is the customer service and support. I'm really surprised that this person did not get uh, uh, get a um, call back. Someone else said they had the same problem and they called the customer service and recipe book and they replaced it no charge. So that's that's good. That's kind of what I expect. Do they include any bread recipes that don't require any sugar at all? Yes, uh, any of them whole wheat bread. Uh, someone says page number 75 offers whole uh, honey, whole wheat, cinnamon, raisin. I've yet to include raisins and we liked it. You know, even for the French bread, it calls for a little bit of sugar. Uh, I haven't, I'm trying to think if I've done any completely sugar free. No, I haven't. But uh, obviously you can get sugars from, from other ingredients if, if you so choose. Uh, you definitely have to experiment with that. Unfortunately, I just go ahead and use the real sugar. Uh, let's see. What else does this have? Mm, is it normal for this to make a ton of noise? It makes a decent amount of noise that I wouldn't want to be in the same room while it's it's doing it, uh, unless I'm doing something else. You know, if I'm cooking, it doesn't really matter. But uh, if I am trying to watch a TV or a movie or something, um, and it is right next to me, that's going to be a bit bothersome. Two rooms away, I'm okay with it. You can watch TV. If you were trying to watch something or listen to something critical, or for instance, I'm recording this video, I am on the other side of the house so that you don't hear any of it. And it really only lasts about 20 some minutes before it does a um, rising function, at least in my setting right now. So it won't be, it's not that bad. And it's a fairly short amount of time. It's the beeping that could potentially uh, annoy you because it'll suddenly beep and, and maybe you forgot you were baking bread and it'll beep. Can you store the custom recipe created using the custom selection? Yes, uh, according to Breville, you can store up to nine custom recipe settings. I've actually set a couple of custom recipes, but it is for the bread in a, in, in a box. Like you buy one of those instant bread mixes. Um, I like to customize that to uh, get better results. Uh, what are the actual dimensions of the loaf pan? Okay, looks like someone else already answered that. Seven five eighths, five and a half, and five and a quarter inches. Uh, let's see. Well, you know what? Uh, there are so many questions about this. It is just amazing. Um, I am on the second page, and there are 160 questions on here, and I, I've already answered most of the helpful uh, questions on here. What does it take to clean a machine after every use? According to Breville, you need to remove the bread pan, remove the paddle from the bread pan, tip the bread maker to the side, and wipe clean the interior of any recipe items that may have fallen uh, into the interior of the cavity. Wash the pan in hot soapy water, but do not submerge. Oh, that's interesting. You know, I haven't submerged it, but it's interesting that it says do not submerge the pan. That's really an important thing to know. I, I just wash it in a sink. Uh, wash the paddle thoroughly, ensuring you can clean carefully and completely around the edge if you if using the collapsible uh, paddle. Yeah, so you know, get a nice brush, silicone brush, some sort of some, some sort of thing with some bristles to really get that out there. Uh, it's interesting to know that you definitely don't want to submerge um, the pan, so that is good. Maybe potentially uh, against rust or I don't know something something's up with that. So so it says make sure you do not submerge it. And really, it's so easy to clean. And honestly, I have not wiped the interior. Uh, so it's gotten a little bit dirty in there. Not too bad, but it, it has not hindered the operation of the unit at all. I probably should go ahead and clean it out um, at the end of this uh, bakes, baking session. Uh, does this machine work with ready mixes? Yeah. Yep. It says, so long as the mix was designed to be used with a bread machine, the custom loaf bread maker will do it wonderfully. I actually... Um, I know that's what Breville says, uh, but I actually use the ready mixes, including uh, the dry yeast formulas, and they work fine, but I actually have to customize it a little bit differently to more better reflect what the what the instructions say um, on 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 the back of the um, on the back of the box. Is there a specific program to bake cake or would you be able to make a cake with it? I suppose you can. Yeah, you just have to you just have to program it. Uh, someone says it's a bread maker, but really you can do the custom setting to, to go ahead and, um, you know, do anything. But, uh, honestly, unless, unless you want a cake that is, is, uh, that looks like a loaf of bread, 
Um, maybe you want it round or something, and maybe you just have it do the mixing and stuff, and then take it out and then bake in a traditional oven, maybe. Let's see. Um, why is the bread with hard shell? I use basic white and the inside is soft. Do I put sugar and milk powder? That's interesting. I've never had that problem, but actually I follow the uh, I follow the instructions fairly well. I haven't had that problem. And it, it does an okay crust. Um, it is not like the nice, well, you'll see um, when the, uh, the French bread is out. How much time does it take to make? Okay, two, three hours. Uh, what type of material is this made of? It's stainless steel. Mm, is the automatic fruit and nut dispenser removable for cleaning? No, it's a knot, but you can again tip it over and clean it very carefully. Uh, probably, someone says the, the dispenser is not that useful. I think it's okay. It's a nice ad, but you know, when with the, for whatever reason, when I put in the, the things in the nuts and everything, because of the mixing, perhaps, or the cooking, it never comes out the way that you expect it to. It always comes out a little bit smaller. Are you use this to make almond flour bread? I realize that some machines do not create enough warm to raise this flour and need more heat. Someone else just says, need to blend almond flour or some other flour to raise it. I've never tried almond flour before. What are the outside dimensions of this bread maker? Okay, it's, it's huge, okay. Um, there you go, nine inches deep, 14 inches high, 16 inches wide. The box is that, that you get it with is just a, a big big box, machines like this wide, this high, and you know, you, you're probably gonna wanna put it away unless you use it basically every other day. There's a period of time where I was just making several, um, as much bread, basically eating bread every day. Oh, there goes my phone. Let's see, uh, prime mill, okay, covered warranty. Why are my loaves sticking to the bread pan? Dough was not sticky, I made for instructions. Try letting the, the bread cool in a pan for 15 to 30 minutes before trying to remove it. The bread will naturally contract away from the size of the pan, it should dump right out. Yeah, maybe you lost your nonstick, um, but I've never had any problems taking the bread out. But I actually take the bread out and flip it over, uh, the bread pan, flip it over, and then just knock it, just real quickly against the wood comes right out uh, let's see does it have glass window yes it does one year old using a, and use once a week teflon on the blade is coming off anyone facing the same issue no i have actually had no problems like that maybe you are cleaning the bread thing too hard you want to use something non-abrasive uh, non-abrasive brush will this make butter hmm I don't know. Great question. Let's see if anybody else has an answer about that. It will make jam though. Hmm. Yeah, nobody has any questions. It is a bread maker, guys. Some of these questions are going to start to get a little bit uh, ridiculous. So I am skipping through a good part of this to see if there's anything else. For... You know, I've already answered most of the helpful questions. Uh, same questions over again. Can you, how do you create your own recipe store? Okay, there are custom settings, you can do that. It's machine noisy, eh, somewhat. Does this machine do low carb bread? Hmm. You know, if you want a low carb diet, you shouldn't be eating bread. Does it have a yeast dispenser? No, it does not. How many paddles are there? There's two different paddles. One is for jam, non-classable. The other is to make bread. During the kneading process, my, my machine is making banging noise. And every few bangs, something that sounds like a grinding. Can this be normal? Yeah, it is normal. Uh, it is a little bit disconcerting. This is why you don't want to be necessarily in the same room because um, some types of bread or loaves, it seems to bang a little bit more because the whole loaf is getting sloshed around inside there. And I think... Here's the thing, if you make a bigger loaf of bread, it actually makes less noise. You make a smaller one and, you know, that loaf can really jar or move things around. So make sure that you put it on a solid countertop and uh, make sure the machine doesn't slide. Okay, so uh, if you have to wedge it in somewhere, uh, I'd hate for you to, for it to be making bread and you're making only one pound loaf or something, which is the minimum size. And for the whole unit to be shaking and shake right off onto the floor and just basically break itself. That's that's a horrible thing. 
All right, I think that answers you know most of the most important helpful questions on here. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions down below. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing this machine, please go ahead and use my link. Thank you very much because I'm an affiliate of Amazon. Uh, anything that you buy on Amazon doesn't have to be just a bread maker. If you're buying anything on Amazon, use my link. I get a really small commission, which helps to maintain this channel, my website, and some of the work that I do to share this with you. It might not look like I spent a lot of time making this video, but trust me, it takes a lot of time. Uh, making the bread, putting all those ingredients takes a couple minutes. Filming it while doing it and, and, and try not to mess up and screw up too much uh, takes hours. Okay, so uh, I really appreciate if anybody uh, can, um, you know, support my work in that way. And like and subscribe and share the video if you can. Okay, so uh, I think that's it for the Q&A session. I will show you what the bread looks like once it's done. Uh, looks like it's going to take another two more hours, right? It's a good, good sounding bread. Hollow. Nice. Good big job. Oh, crispy flakiness. Oh.